All right, so it is midwinter, the last part of winter, but temperatures here in Texas are already over 60 to 80s, and so for the last week. So things to do, which I started to do last week, and this happens um, right after the temperatures stabilizing higher than 60 degrees, the girls started to rear a lot of brood because there is a lot of incoming pollen not so much nectar, but there is a lot of pollen. So last week, what did I do last week? I check um, the hives for two things. One is how heavy are they? Because they're bringing pollen, but there's not a lot of uh, honey left. Uh, they didn't have much going on into winter. And so first thing is to do is check the weight. Um, see how the queen is doing. So on most of, um, all of the hives have brood, four to five, six frames of brood already. Uh, some uh, depleted completely the honey and only have a couple of a uh, few nectar. So I added uh, two, three frames of honey to those um, colonies. The other thing that you should be doing is, is a management uh, option. Uh, right now, stronger colonies you can equalize uh, both resources and hives right um, the other thing that I was doing is so one checking for resources um, are they brooding do they have enough honey to feed the brood uh, pollen there is a lot of pollen that's why they're brooding but there's not much uh, nectar so I added one gallon of one to one to all the girls uh, again I equalize a couple of uh, colonies and I remove the feeding sheets the girls are starting to build up and the, um, so the feeding sheets is extra room and some of those are starting to uh, build a bird calm in it so just remove the feeding sheet we're not gonna use it until next winter hopefully but uh, that's the other thing so um, there is a technique of swapping the brood boxes so if they overwinter in two boxes then because it's winter they're on the top one so now that there is uh, the weather is better and they're starting to build up so the idea is to swap those boxes because the girls are always tending to go up so beaks expand uh, vertically right and so two things with that uh, I do that on only the uh, colonies that didn't migrate it down. So on the last yard, out of uh, 23 hives on that yard, four didn't migrate down. So most of the queens were already down in the first uh, deep doing her thing and the, and the top was already empty a couple of um, resources and that's it so about four four maybe five hives the queen the queen and all the bees were in the second deep and the first one was completely empty no resources no nothing no bees no eggs nothing just the empty uh, drawn uh, frames so those are the ones that you do swap so now the queen has room to expand what happens if you don't do it is uh, they get congested and like it already happened uh, last week, two weeks ago, right right in the on the cold, right before the last week of cold temperatures, uh, one of the nukes uh, just swarmed. Why? Because the queen didn't migrate down. I was just waiting for the more warmer temperatures to uh, go and check and do what I did last week but uh, it's not that she didn't have room she had a lot of room underneath all those frames were empty but they swarm because the top uh, box where they were they were congested in that box so they didn't see the box below as extra room so that's why you swap right but again uh, it only happened in 
405 for out of 23 on this yard. Those extra down the other 10, important right now, over 60 degrees. And I'm talking about since the last three days, uh, three days ago, I started seeing the greatest, uh, greater wax moth is already here. Greater wax moth is already here. So if anybody has dead outs, this is time to go and get them, uh, clean up the boxes, save the frames because wax moth is already out. The wax moths, they don't wait, they don't care about it. And like I always said, there is always, always wax moths. Um, during winter, you don't see them. I did see the smaller one, the, the, the minor wax moth. One, one is the greater, the other one is the smaller. It's something like that right that one that thing I saw it December I saw it everywhere that thing doesn't go away and this frames that I just removed two days ago three days ago you can see they still already have some the the small wax mod already in it so check resources swap if you have to uh, feed one to one for uh, the ones that they need it. Be careful with uh, Robin. So um, I still using just um, I'm only feeding one gallon. I'm using the time all just to avoid that sweet smell. Um, pick up all the extra equipment for those colonies that are already shrink to one box. They're about to expand it again, but right now while they do it, I rather not have that much empty uh, drone frames right there. So what I did is put the backs uh, down on those. The empty one was on top, but I didn't left all the 10 frames, drone frames. So I check a border with a drawn empty drawn empty drawn empty and i'm talking about foundation so this way there's not that much wax in case there is wax mods two they have room to expand three as soon as the nectar flow hits they're going to start drawing those uh, uh frames and hopefully you know you can mitigate any uh swarm impulses I'm talking about swarm impulses uh, always keep notes and there are some bees that are more uh, propense to swarming than others like that one I was not expecting they were not that congesting there were not that many bees that was uh, expensive true uh, true carniolan VSH they were not that congested she actually needed a couple of uh, help a couple of frames last year but it was swarming Okay, so that, that was the problem. So identify those that are prone to swarm. And instead of using the 80% rule to box, you know, to add more boxes, just go 60, 70%, trying to keep this girls, uh, you know, on check. Uh, these are the ones that I have on observation during winter. This was a removal October, November, uh, with a new queen. That girl right there, they are, they superseded the queen on October, mid-October. So um, I have them here because I don't know how well made she is, and I'm waiting for her to turn into a drone layer. Uh, right now she's doing good. They're all doing, doing really, really good. As you can see, the, the first one, the last one over there, that's the one that is it's incredible because that girl uh, is a new queen and those girls superseded that queen in November. So that's a November queen, probably made it uh, the last two weeks of November, first two weeks of December. That's really, really late, really late. Uh, uh, that's why they're here, I'm on, I'm on their observation. Uh, but this time last year, I already have one that superseded in October, but this time she was already a drone layer. 
That girl over there is insane.